Please don't ruin this for me. Danger, 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 danger. Oh. Do you ever just get so overwhelmed that you have to go outside, sit on a tree stump, and eat a sandwich? Well, this character does, because we're playing Adventures with Anxiety today, which is something I've experienced in the past. Um, pretty bad anxiety at some points, and it's not fun. It's not nice. So, why don't we jump in and play this game from Nikki Case, who is a fantastic game dev who makes really wonderful games. If you remember, they made this is the one we're playing. Uh, this one. Do you remember this? <laughs> uh, this was a really good one. And they also have the coming out simulator, which is too real. Too, too real. Anyway, back to Adventures with Anxiety. Play. Welcome. This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading. Sucker! Well, lucky for you, I do, because we get to do the funny voices. So before we start, how would you like to read? Oh. Speak this fast, speak this slow, speak this fast. How about, how about that? That's good. And advance on click. Nice, simple, easy. Great. You can always change with the settings icon below. Also, game auto-saves each chapter. All right. Now let's begin our story. This is a human. And this is the human's anxiety. Pretty realistic. I mean, that's what it looks like in my head. You are the anxiety. Oh, this is a twist. I did not expect that we would be playing the evil monster anxiety. Oh good, my wolf's back. Fantastic. Your job is to protect your human from danger. Oh, okay. And of course, everything is a danger. Uh, in fact, that sandwich is putting them in danger right now. Now, <gasps> quick, warn them. <laughs> okay, what voice do we want for the anxiety? Human, listen, we're in danger. The danger is... Let your anxiety come out to play. Pick what's most similar to what your fear tells you. We're eating alone for lunch again? We're not productive while eating. That white bread's bad for us. Okay, which one do I not like? Um, I, I like eating lunch alone, that's fine. Um, we're not being productive. That's, that's a bummer for me, you know, that's my one. We're not productive while we're eating. Yes. Whip out your laptop and do some work right now. Oh, this is, this is absolutely me. <laughs> um, I'd rather not get crumbs in my keyboard. If we're not contributing to the body of society, then we're a society parasite. Was that the voice I was doing? It always warps and changes. It'll probably, it'll probably end up as something very different in the end, but it's always fun. The society body will go to the society doctor for medication to kill their society parasites, then we'll die! Bad. Okay, well, um, you used fear of being a bad person. Wow, the anxiety just, whoop, up it goes. It, it was starting off with, oh, I'm not being productive right now, and then bam, DEFCON 5. Or well, DEFCON 1 it would be, because DEFCON 1's the maximum, even though it's the lowest. Anyway, it's super effective. Oh, this is interesting. It's pretty cool. I like I like how it plays out. See, human, I'm your loyal guard wolf. Paused. <laughs> Click anywhere to keep freaking out. I didn't even notice that's what it said. I like that. Okay. Trust your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Get your human's energy bar to zero. Oh no. He's just eating lunch. He's just having a casual sammy. What is the sandwich? Egg salad? What's the most depressing sandwich I can think of? I can't think. <laughs> Probably just bread, really, on its own. To protect their physical and social and moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, or, and even, fear of being a bad person. Oh, okay. Pro tip, play the choices that personally hit your deepest, darkest fears. All right, guys. It's getting personal in here. You better subscribe for this. You better like, you better comment, love. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's time to check my phone. Protect your human. All right, here we go. Are we on Twitter? Text? What is it gonna be? From the world, or from other people, from themselves. Good luck. Round one, fight. Huh? Facebook feed says there's a party happening this weekend. 
Okay. And doesn't that weirdo throw a party every weekend? What inner void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up inside. Also, I got an invite. Well then! Say yes or we'll die from loneliness. Say no, it's full of poisonous drugs. Ignore it, we just make parties sad. I feel like the bottom one is more on track with me. If I'm feeling down, I don't want to go to a party in case that's really obvious and it kind of just leeches off into other people. That's not nice, it's that one. Ignore it, we just make parties sad. All we ever do at parties is worry how we should be productive instead. Gee, I wonder why. So if we go, we'll make them feel bad. But if we reject their invite, we'll also make them feel bad. All we do is make people feel bad. So we should feel bad. Bad. <laughs> I love this. It's me. I, I kind of want to be a voice actor, honestly. This is so fun. Oh, if it'll make you shut up, fine. I'll ignore the invite. Anyway, Facebook's too much. I need something calmer. Less anxiety producing. Are we going to head to Instagram now? What is it? No, Twitter. For less anxiety? <laughs> What's new on Twitter? Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Oh no, is that a tweet secretly about us? Hey, I can't have a cat drinking milk. Indirects are horrible. I have, it's been a long time since I've been in indirects and like, and was aware that they're about me. So that's no problem. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Yeah, they're sad, but that doesn't get me sad either. Hey, a gif of a cat drinking milk. Probably what I would gravitate to, but why is that a bad thing? Hey, a gif of a cat drinking milk. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Just retweeted it. I think cats can't digest milk and we're terrible people for enjoying animal abuse. Bad. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay, go try Snapchat. Huh, photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekly parties are like. Oh, the party we missed. Hmm, that looks really fun. Maybe I shouldn't have ignored the invite? You keep ignoring, we're still party poopers. Actually, say yes. Actually, say no. Wait, it's not the party we missed. It's a nut, it's a party, it's a party that from yesterday. <laughs> and there's another one tonight or tomorrow. I don't remember what it was. But it's not the party we put with blah blah blah. Okay. So the party looks fun. However, I would still be a party pooper. But what's the difference between actually say no or actually Keep ignoring! We're party poopers! <laughs> it's kind of rude to keep ignoring them though. Oh! Didn't realize we were ignoring a Facebook event where we have to click, like, what's it? Going, maybe, or can't go. Well, other people always ignore us, so... Unloved. So let's just call it even. Whatever. New Tinder notification. What? Is that a hookup app? It's not a hookup app. It's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh. I couldn't match. They look cute. Please don't ruin this for me. Danger, 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 danger! <laughs> We're being used by other people. We're just using other people. Your match is a serial killer. Okay, am I being used? Are we using them? Or is my match a serial killer? They're a serial killer. <laughs> They'll bludgeon you with a Pomodoro timer and say you should have been more productive, you parasite. Arm. Oh, no. We're about to destroy ourselves with our own mind. Our anxiety monster will take us over. I'm so sick of this game. We're a society parasite. They're a serial killer. Cats can't digest milk. I just want to live my life. I just want to be free from all this pain. So this game is very sad, but I'm trying to be lighthearted about it. And if you do have any of these problems, anxiety, depression, whatever it is, do seek help with therapy or medication or a doctor, whatever you need, it's there for you and it will work and do good. So definitely make that a little goal. Uh, hey, human, it'll be okay. As your loyal guard wolf, I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last app, Instagram.
what you got? Oh, is this gonna be, everyone's more beautiful than me, I'm ugly. Probably, it's more party pictures. Everyone looks so happy. Free from worry, free from anxiety. This game's gonna make me cry. It, just like that, Nikki Case, your games are amazing. I'm gonna follow you on Twitter after this, if you have Twitter. God, why can't I just be like them? Why can't I just be normal? Speaking of parties, about this weekend's invite, here's my final decision. We should go. We should not go. At this point, I would think, oh, you know what? Let's do it. YOLO will have a blast. What? I'm going to say yes to that party. Not because you want me to, but because I want to. Pause. <laughs> I, can't I keep clicking off the screen. You're not in control of me. Now excuse me while I eat this d delicious sandwich. God damn peace. Ah, we're gonna die. Ah, everyone hates us. Ah, we're horrible people. Hmm. Which one? I'm enjoying a sandwich. I've said yes to a party. And now my anxiety wants to destroy me with one final comment about one of these. We're gonna die? I mean, yeah, everyone's gonna die. Everyone hates us. Not really. I'm aware of that. <laughs> We're horrible people. And I'm not a horrible person either. But what does my mind make me think? I'll just go with that one. <laughs> everyone hates us. <laughs> Unloved. Congratulations! You've successfully protected your human's physical, social, and moral needs. Why, look how grateful they are. <laughs> now that their energy is zero, you can directly control their actions. Pick your ending move. Finish them. Fight. Punish your stressful phone. Is that gonna be throw my phone or like destroy it? Or flight, curl up in a ball and cry. Now, even though curling up in a ball and cry seems like the better one, I honestly think it is because crying does help. There was a scientific study I read where it said like different types of crying, like happy crying, sad crying, depressed crying, anxiety crying, they're all different and release different like endorphins to your body and stuff. It's very interesting, but I'm gonna choose that one because I just bought this phone. It's a great phone. <laughs> the whole world is filled with danger. Do like the armadillo. Curl up into a ball for self-defense. Curl up and cry, curl up and cry, curl up and cry, curl up and cry. Oh, oh no. It's adorable, it's cute, and it's sad. It's so sad and it's very real. Wow. You win. But do we though? Do we really? Here's this round. Being harmed, one. Being unloved, two. Being a bad person, three. Well, folks, that was a look into Adventures with Anxiety by Nikki Case. Great game developer. Thank you for creating this. I am aware there's more to this game, but for now, that's where we're going to leave it at. So, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you have any trouble, do get help. Do get the support you need. It's waiting for you. And I will uh, see you all next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>